What is chemical engineering? Chemical engineering basically is applied chemistry. Chemical engineers design, construct, operate machines and plants that perform chemical reactions to solve practical problems or make useful products. Changing raw materials to useful products that we use in everyday life and to do that in a safe and cost-effective manner. Is chemistry and chemical engineering the same? In chemistry we are looking at discovering a new product or a new chemical or finding a new way to produce that chemical. To translate that from the bench scale into large scale production, we need a chemical engineer. Now, let's have an idea about the history of caffeine decaffeination. The first commercially successful decaffeination process was invented by the German Ludwig Roselius in 1903 and patented in 1906. He thought that the coffee was motivated by the belief that excessive coffee drinking had poisoned his palate. Now let's get to know what is the decaffeination process. Decaffeination is the removal of caffeine from coffee beans, coca, tea leaves and other caffeine containing materials. We as a chemical engineers have lots of processes to do that. One of these processes is we get the green coffee beans and we steam it for about 30 minutes in order to open its pores. Once the beans are receptive to a solvent, they are repeatedly rinsed with ethyl acetate, a chemical solvent, for about 10 hours. The ethyl acetate selectively removes the caffeine from the coffee beans only. The caffeine-laden solvent is then drained away and the beans are steamed again to remove the residual solvent. The use of ethyl acetate as a solvent for decaffeination of coffee is FDA approved under Title 21, Part 173.228. In this process, we have a mixing tank, dryer, and a separation unit. In the feed stream, the entering stream to the mixing tank, we have, of course, the coffee beans and the solvent ethyl acetate. They both enter the mixing tank first and remain there till the removal of caffeine from the coffee beans is achieved. After that, we have two output streams. One of them is the drain solution of the solvent, ethyl acetate, and caffeine. This stream enters the separation unit and there the solvent is separated from caffeine and retained to the mixing tank while the concentrated caffeine goes into further processes. The other output stream from the mixing tank has the beans with few amounts of the solvent that enters into the dryer where ethyl acetate is recovered and goes back into the mixing tank. The decaffeinated coffee, the decaffeinated coffee beans are obtained from another output stream from the dryer. This process shows a very important principle in chemical engineering which is material balance and by that we mean that material is conserved and whatever goes in must eventually comes out. The material balance equation states that N minus L plus generation minus consumption equal accumulation. Chemical engineers can make processes more cost-effective, more environmentally friendly, and more efficient. Chemical engineers can find a niche in any scientific or engineering field. Chemical engineers play a major role in delivering a sustainable solution to support a growing world population.